Okay, the chin rest, you'll see mine's quite different from yours. It's probably larger, it's centrally mounted over the tailpiece. That doesn't really matter, that's what I prefer after years of, of trying different tailpieces or different chin rests. Um, you can just play like that without a shoulder rest. I prefer to use one. Again, I've got quite a long neck. I think so anyway. So, I use a shoulder rest. This should be very similar to yours. It's not quite straight. It's, I think, if you've got the same one as me, or very similar, it's curved that way. The curve goes this way on your shoulder, so it goes this way on the violin. So the higher portion of the curve is to the left-hand side of the violin when it goes on your shoulder. And you should, if you do this, do it very carefully, you should be able to hold it there reasonably comfortably without using your hand at all. This hand isn't used to hold the violin up, it's just used to play the notes. It doesn't provide support, or it shouldn't provide support. Most of the support comes from your head resting on the violin and cantilevering like that. Okay, that's the chin and shoulder rest.